Hello everyone, welcome to another week in my garden. That's Tuesday today. Uh, yesterday rained all day. Last night it rained again. Really, really was ready for that rain. It's done the world of good. And uh, I think the old, the old chaps would have called it spring dyke fill, but we'll just call it good rain. Right, we're up in the greenhouse as you can see. I just wanted to show you quickly about your tomatoes taking these side shoots off. I was asked about it, so I shall show you. Now, I saved this one just to show you. I hope you can see it. So, this here is side shoot. This is a side shoot, and if you can see that there, they're going to be the flowers and that will be a truss of tomatoes. So when you're side shooting, do be careful. Remove that, remove that, don't remove those because I know somebody asked me about this so I'm, I'm, there you go. That's how you do it. So having done that, what we're going to do is we're going to put, these are my buckets, I'm going to put these on the chicken nut, chicken pen, with some tumbling tomatoes in. I'm going to put two on each side, so I'll do them, I've got some spare compost there, and, and then we'll pop them on the, on the chicken pen and you can have a look. So you can remember tumbling now actually flowering that. So that's where your tomatoes will be. Just carefully tip them up. It is rooting down a uh, fashion. But we'll pop them in there, look. We'll pop one there, shall we? Let's have the, if we have this up, then we can go both sides up. Oh, no, I don't have the bone. Pop that up, we can go both sides of it like that, look. And then we'll pop the other one. Let's have this one because we don't want flowers on both. They're not, these are not long potted up, so they'll be all right. And if we pop that one this side, give them a bit of a turn, look. There you go. Uh, I'll just get a couple of sticks. Switch off. I can't hold this handle and do it, look, so I put a couple of sticks in. Just hold the handle. That's it, now we can see what we're doing, place it better now. Look, get all the leaves out. There you go. This one, that's fine. And if we just put the broken leaves there, look, anything broken, take them off, don't leave them on. We've got some compost here. Good compost. Now when it, I've put some holes in the bottom, but in the side actually. So there'll be a little reservoir of water in it. So before I filled it, I just put some crocs in, like you do in a normal pot, just to uh, stop the holes from blocking the compost and then, there you go. So we'll take that down and hang it. I'll do the other one before we go. The other thing I want to do while I'm up here, before I go down and hang those up, uh, I need to start potting these tomatoes up. This will all be empty soon, the benches will go because the wife's waiting to put her hanging baskets in here so all this will have to disappear. There's no risk of frost now I don't think, the ground's far too warm for the ground. There might be an air frost but I don't think there'll be a, a, a ground frost as such. So I've got two tomatoes over there, we'll pop those in. We're going to grow these in these boxes so there's plenty of root room in there so we get a nice nice plant out of it 
This one is one that my wife turned up, it's Tigerella. Must be a striped tomato, so we'll see. It's rooted down anyway. What I should do is just pop it at the bank, like that. I won't, I'll just leave this cane in for now, and then when it gets a bit bigger, I'll strap it to the main post. I like these posts because if you put loose posts in, then they're liable, your whole plant's liable to fall over with it. So we'll just uh, don't top it right to the top. Need a little bit of room for your water. These are wooden pots. We might get two or three years out of them, but they're, they're cheap enough, so it doesn't matter. They won't feed until we can see where the tomatoes are. I like to see little green tomatoes for I feed. It's uh, it's what I do. There's the one, that's let's put the label with it. So you know what it is. Now this one, this is a cherry tomato. This is one of mine, so they can see it looks well rooted. Same again, look, put the stick to the back. Now this one's a bit taller than that one, so what I should do is I'll strap it, but I'll put a tie on it while you're here. So I'll just put this one a little bit deeper up. There's the first, I don't know if you see that. There's the first truss of tomatoes. They'll open into little yellow flowers like you've just seen on the tumblers and then that'll be the first truss. So a truss that low, that's pretty good, that'll do. I'll just put a bit of compost around it. I might have enough compost there to do this one. Huh? a bit more and then I'll just put a tie on that one and then all you do is push it back a bit and then I'll come from the bank go right round the plant and that's it then carefully take it off these are good strong this is screwed to the box so we know it's not going to tip over or anything this one would pull out as it grows a bit so that's no problem and that's how you do tomatoes now in this little lean-to greenhouse, I put them at the bank, and I should put another one at the front like that. Now these, these are only boxes, look, with wire bottoms. What I should do is, before I put the compost in, I just put a handful of barley straw in there that keeps the, uh, keeps the compost in, and also keeps the bottom nice and sweet. When the roots hit the bottom, they'll go into the gravel for to get moisture out of the gravel as well, so they, they won't go down and they'll make nice plants. We'll take them up, maybe five trusses of tomatoes and then stop them. But we'll be side shooting all the way up with these. And uh, so we'll leave those and next time we're in here you might find them all filled up. Just quickly, the new potatoes doing all pretty well. I put this up just to stop the sun burning it a bit. But since I put it up, the sun hasn't come out, it's raining, so. Right, that's the trailing or tumbling tomatoes in. The, um, Nice big root room for them, they'll trail right over. Now, over the next few days, if it gets a little bit cold at night, or if it gets windy in the day, I should just drop a fleece over them. Or at night, I'll just pop them in the shed. They're going to look good, they are, aren't they? I won't be able to put them on the floor, because if I put them on the floor, chickens will eat them. Won't you? Hey? Are you going to keep an eye on the tomatoes for me? I'll water them. Oh. 
Hiya. Hiya. We're down the garden. Friday today. Week's gone very fast this week. Um, very windy. And I'm just going to pop these few courgettes in. I can't hold them any longer. As you can see, we've got courgettes coming on them now. So we need to get them in. They are a smaller variety than normal. They're not the big massive plants. So I seem to have got a lot in, but there'll be enough. I'll show you how to harvest them later. One, two, three, four, five will be going in here. We'll just open it. The river's having that rain at the beginning of the week. The, the ground's lovely and soft. I've just chopped the bottom up a little bit. Look. There you are, that'll fit in there, you see, so we'll do it. Take that weed out. We'll just turn her over. Be well, well rooted, look. And then we'll just pop, pop them in. This silver in is natural don't think you've got mildew or anything it's not mildew mildew is uh, if you get mildew it'd be a lot lot whiter than that and it'd be a lot powdery that's just natural so don't worry about that at all. just loosen the soil around a bit huh? and then set this up not too tight but you don't want it flapping about in this way. I'll put you one more in. Made a good plant. That one. Here's a courgette flower. You can eat them if you want. I won't, but the same as the marrow and the cucumber all have the similar flower to that. So on the pattern that we put them here, I'm going between the trees. Until the trees get too big, then we'll stop. Stop planting down here altogether then. But while we're... Seems a shame just to leave the ground doing nothing, so... Same again, right? Just chop the bottom up a bit, give it a bit of... And it's nice and moist down there. I will water these shortly. <coughs> Always water them if you put them in. Same again, right? Over we go. Lovely root system. That'll go in nicely. And just, just break the soil round with the trowel. You push in the, the wet soil against the root instead of gathering this dry stuff round it. And then put that round. And then there you are. When I finish the bed, I'll get the the hoe and tidy up, as you can see, keep it all nice. The carrot runs that we put in are all in. I just pop these in the box. A little bit of beetroot, two rows on here. Um, there could be a little close to the potatoes, but I'll sort that out later. I might have to put a line across just to hold them up this side I started to put the celery in I'll finish that off today I'll put two rows in there and the first early potatoes are coming up nicely they seem to have all come up at the end of this row that will be the second earliest they're just beginning to come up on time and then the main crop over there I can see a couple of main crop coming up, but they're no three, the loads coming up. They're no problem, the main crop. These are the ones that want early. I shall have to come and just loosen this ground a bit to let the air in. I'll do that with the hoe. Got my lettuce coming up nicely. They're beginning to heart up. We, I shall have to go in with the hoe and loosen that. So after that rain, it's done wonders down here. The, uh, we're still having trouble with the slugs, but I have sent for some nematodes. When they arrive, we'll show you putting them on. And the beans are doing well. The onions are doing well. Keeping them well hoed, keeping clean. And they're doing fine, no problem. We're up at the compost heaps now. Uh, I've took the covers off them so they get a bit of that rain we've had. Now we've got some 
bad weather coming this weekend I wouldn't worry about so much of ground frost as the wind chill factor so get your plants out the wind or put breakers up and apart from that that'll be it for this week so hopefully I'll see you next week and thanks for watching bye now